Good morning, boys and girls of the internet. So this is a 2004 Honda Pilot, and this had a common issue with some warning lights being on, and we're gonna explain to you how to take care of this nine times out of 10. So this vehicle, when you started it up, had uh, three lights that would not turn off. I've already taken care of our issue. But the uh, ABS light, I don't know if you saw it, right there, the VTM4, and then up here was a brake light. It looked like that, that right there. Those three lights were on together and would not turn off. Sometimes while you were driving down the road, you'd hit a bump and they would flicker. Um, so this vehicle had two issues. One was some broken wires under the car uh, where it had been bottomed out or something, uh, which I took care of those, and then that's when the problem persisted. So, this is what's nine times out of ten happened to yours. Like I said, this one just happened to have two problems. So, under the hood, let's uh, put the hood prop up. You have two locations to put your hood prop, one here and one there, in case you didn't know. But down here on your positive battery terminal, you'll see that you have two places where these hot wires go. This is the main one for your ECM, your starter, and all that stuff. Then there's this one going down to the bottom. Well, then you've got this little wire right here. This little wire has its own tab and corrosion sets in, and these wires will wiggle loose after a while. And that was my second issue. Uh, so what you do is loosen this 10 millimeter nut, take your wire brush, uh, clean the contact points, put the bolt back on, tighten it down. I used, um, it's called fluid film. Uh, you spray it on there and that'll prevent rust and corrosion from setting in in the future. Now, once you do that, you shouldn't even need to have to reset anything. Uh, it should clear the light on its own. So in my case, that's what it did. The light immediately turned off. The only light that was left on is ABS. Now, the reason the ABS light will be on is because the system has reset. And what you're going to have to do is drive the car. You're gonna to have to get in it and get the car over five miles an hour. So you could literally back it down your driveway very quickly and the ABS light will turn off. Now. Another problem that will occur if you have any of these warning lights on is your four wheel drive will not work. And here's another thing in case no one knows, the VTM four lock or the four wheel drive in these pilots and the ridge lines only works in either reverse, boom, four wheel drive, and it's off but you have to go all the way down to your low gear. So it'll work in first gear. Hold on a second. Yep, it'll work in first gear, second gear, and I think it even works in third. Okay, no. So second or first gear only is, you'll see it on the dash, one, two, D3, D4. So first gear, second gear, and reverse are the only gears that your four wheel drive will work. So if you're off-roading or something and you get hung up and you're in drive and you're over here smashing on your four wheel drive button and nothing's happening and you're still stuck, well, go down a couple gears. Same thing with reverse. It will work in reverse and neutral turns it off, boom. So yeah, there you go. All my warning lights are out now, the seatbelt light's on just because I'm not buckled as I sit in the car. But this is super common. This happens on the ridge lines. It happens on the pilots. Uh, essentially anything with that secondary wire uh, because a lot of times you'll think, oh no, it's my ABS pump because it's gonna have codes if you scan the vehicle, it's gonna have a, it won't show a check engine light, but it'll still have codes because the VTM4 light is on for a solenoid inside the ABS pump and a fail safe relay will be 
uh, permanently disabled. So if you're having those problems with your Honda Pilot and the full wheel drive doesn't work and you've got these warning lights on, right there, take that loose, clean that very well, reinstall everything, and that'll take care of your issue. So this car is a 3.5. It's got 200 and something odd thousand miles on it. And it is going up on the car lot today. It has been cleaned. We actually have two of these. This one has not been wrecked. I got another one that's hitting the front over here. I just put two motors in because the first one was no bueno. The first used engine that I put in it had no compression on two cylinders. This side is a little rough. This fender is pinstripe. The doors do not but it's a cheap four-wheel drive Honda Pilot. Clean title, automatic, awesome tires. These are Crosswind HTs. Driver's seat is tore at the bottom. Super common in these Hondas with this leather interior, like the Accords and stuff. But we've got heated seats, which work. We've got front and rear climate control and aftermarket Kimwood stereo with Bluetooth and all that good stuff. Yeah, 246, 746 on it for miles. And she runs good, she drives good, it's had an oil change. She's ready to rock and roll. So anyway, folks, there's that for the pilot. We will drop a comment down below, let you know what you think. We'll catch you in the next one, folks. Jumping off.